Uncle Wiggily's Lemonade Stand by Howard R. Garris. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. One day, as Nurse Jane Fuzzy Wuzzy opened the kitchen door in the hollow stump bungalow, she saw Uncle Wiggily squeezing juice from a lemon. Oh, Wiggily, are you making a lemon pie? asked the muskrat lady. Just then, some of the sour juice squirted in her eye, and she squirmed like an angleworm. I guess I made a mistake that time, sadly said the bunny but I am trying to make lemonade. After Uncle Wiggily had helped Nurse Jane wipe the lemon juice out of her eye with a towel, the muskrat lady asked, Why are you making lemonade, Uncle Wiggily? The bunny gentleman said that some of the animal children wanted to start a lemonade stamp so they could sell cool drinks on hot days and give the money to the fresh air fund for poor animal children so the stand was started uncle wiggily helped nanny the girl goat and curly the pig to make lemonade to sell from a street stand the first customer was mr stubtail the bear gentleman nanny handed him a glass and when no one was looking the piggy boy took some lemonade i'm not saying that was right though we hope you like our lemonade mr stubtail said nanny please bring nettie and becky to our stand i'll drink this lemonade said mr stubtail and then i'll go get nettie and becky and treat them he put the glass to his lips but no sooner had he taken a sip than he dropped the glass and roared oh Ah. Uncle Wiggily wanted to know what was the matter, and Nanny and the piggy boy were surprised. Too sour, too sour, howled Mr. Stubtail. I like sweet lemonade. Nanny ran into Uncle Wiggily's bungalow and brought out some sugar, which she poured into the lemonade while the piggy boy stirred it round and round. I guess this will be all right for our next customer, spoke Uncle Wiggily. Soon, along came Curly's father, Mr. Twistytail. He tasted some of the fresh air lemonade. Mo bunk, he grunted. It's quite too sweet. I like lemonade sour. Our customers are getting mixed in our lemonade, said Uncle Wiggily to Nanny and Curly as he sent them to the store to get more lemons. I'll mark each pail, so I'll know which is sweet and which is sour lemonade. So the bunny marked a large S on one pail to show it was sweet, and he marked a large S on the other pail to show that it was sour. Now, everything will be fine, said the bunny. All at once, Uncle Wiggily happened to think that just the letters on the pails weren't enough. I can't tell sweet from sour, as each begins with the letter S, said the bunny. I wonder what I'd better do. Just then, the bad fuzzy fox and the worse woozy wolf sprang out of the bushes. You'd better keep still while we nibble your ears, they howled. First, have some lemonade, invited the rabbit. What kind of lemonade have you? barked the fox, looking hungrily at Uncle Wiggily's ears. Both kinds, sweet and sour, replied the bunny. Then I'll take both kind. Mixed, chuckled the fox, trying to be funny. One kind will be enough for you, and it doesn't make any difference what kind, cried Uncle Wiggily, and he threw the whole pail full of sour lemonade over the bad fox. Oh, wow! What does this mean? barked the fox. It means that I am tired 
of having you make fun of my lemonade cried the bunny and i'm tired of waiting for your ears howled the wolf as the fox ran away it's time you made a home run also mr wolf chuckled the bunny then he threw pale lemonade and all at the wolf who ran away also and more lemonade was made for the children end of uncle wiggily's lemonade stand by howard r garris read by nemo